So we just recently released our Get Your Game On SVG bundle, which includes uh, not only a football jersey, but a basketball jersey. And you've probably seen it a million times and maybe haven't even realized that a lot of the numbers that are applied to uniforms in professional sports use a specific font. Now, there are exceptions, but we're going with what I would consider traditional. And as you can see here, both the football jersey and the basketball jersey are using the same font. Now, if you don't own a copy of the font, you can go over to defont.com and type in Jersey M54. It is available for personal use. So you can grab yourself a copy, get that installed on your system. If you're not familiar with how to install a font, there are tons of videos on the topic on YouTube. Just Google how to install a font in Windows or how to install a font on Mac. And I'm sure you'll find uh, dozens, if not more, videos on the topic. So once you have the font installed, let's go into Design Space. Okay, and with Design Space open, what we're going to do is bring in the file uh, and use it as a reference. We're going to use main one blue jeans. This is the football jersey. And we're bringing this in so that we can use it as a reference for our letters so we know how big to make them. So I'm going to get that SVG loaded up and add it to my canvas. And there are multiple pieces here. I'm going to right click on this and ungroup it. Okay, and then we're going to get rid of the score marks here. So I'm highlighting the score mark layer, I'm going to delete that. And then I can highlight this and hit contour and just contour out these other pieces that I don't really need. I'm going to leave this one here and I can see that I'm having that bug where even though I contoured it out, I can't move it, which is okay. Uh, we can work around that. That's not a problem. Okay. So this is the actual size that it's going to cut out at. So this is great to use as a reference when determining how large to make your lettering. So I'm going to click over here on text and I am going to make this a Walter Payton Jersey. Uh, he is my all time favorite Chicago bear. Okay. So I've got the last name typed out and I'm going to click on font here right now. It's set to Cricut Sans and I'm going to go under system because it's a system font. And I'm just going to type in, I believe it's, yep, there it is, Jersey M54. Already have it installed, so it's going to come up in the list under System. We'll click on it there. Okay, now I can go over here and resize it. And I'm going to resize it until I get it how I want it. Now, what I'm going to show you here actually is a couple things. We're going to right click on this and we're going to ungroup it so that each letter is separate. Move this out of the way for now. And I want to take and just kind of nudge these over because I do not like the spacing that the font gives me by default with these letters. So I'm just going to ungroup that and move things over until I get it to look the way I want it to look. I can then draw a box around this to select them all again, and I can group them back together. So that way, if I click on any of the letters, all of them will select all together. Okay. So another thing that I want to do here is I want to create an offset for this last name. And I'm going to do that by right clicking on this and I'm going to duplicate this. So I have two of them. Okay. So we have the original here. Now I have this one. I'm going to select it and I'm going to go up here to where it says offset. Okay. And when you do that, let me actually move this out of the way here so you can see it better while I perform the offset operation. Okay. Right now by default, it's giving me rounded corners. You can make them square if you want. I'm gonna stick with round, and the distance of the offset is a little bit too much. It looks not how I want it. So I'm gonna slowly start bringing this down until it looks the way I want it to look. Now, in this case, it's doing a pretty good job of creating this offset to where it will all be uh, welded, and it's one piece. So I actually like that. I'm gonna hit apply. Okay, and you can see that it created that offset for me. I like it, it's not bad. Let me try it one more time. And this time I'm going to decrease it even more and see what the end result is. Uh, but if you want it to look like it does on the official uniforms, this is a great way of achieving that. 
and you can go in here and actually type in your value manually if you want uh, at the other value that I had. Let me zoom in on this. The other value that I had there. I didn't like the spacing. There we go. Looking at it up close. Uh, it's a little bit too close for comfort there, but it's not that bad. I think it'll be okay. Let me try to set this to 22. Let's see what it does. That looks pretty good. And I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to hit apply. And now I have just a very slight, very slight offset. And I think that would work. So it really just depends on your personal preference on how much offset you want. I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do it. Uh, but you can see here, let me move this one over so we can kind of compare these see that the offset on this one is a little bit more gives it a nice bold look and then this is very subtle uh, so that is how you would accomplish that and then of course when it comes time to cut this you just want to make sure and just double check that this will fit on the back of your jersey and you know what let me go ahead and make this the color that would actually be Okay, I can take that black layer and make that a nice orange just so I can see what it's going to look like. And there you go. And obviously, you're going to cut this out of the paper that you want to cut out to represent your specific team. So this offset is ready to go. Uh, I'm going to delete this so we can take a look and see how it lays everything out. Now, these are all individual, so you don't really need to attach them. Uh, unless, of course, you're doing this with vinyl. But we can see here that everything is pretty much ready to go. And again, very simple to customize the back of these jerseys. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where you'll find over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly tutorials. I'll see you in the craft room.